Hello, everyone. This is the Crusader Historian. Um, you can guess by the topic of this video, Miscommunication, that something has come up. <coughs> I'm not going to lie. Something has come up, and I felt like I needed to explain myself more. Um, you see, earlier today, I got this letter, this email from YouTube saying that my pre video, um, Loving Your Kin, has been censored, not exactly censored for hate speech, but it is restricted in several countries and <clears throat> certain things like comments and thumbs up and stuff have been um, prohibited. My video is allowed to remain on YouTube, which I am thankful for. It's just I feel like I did not think that my um, video um counts as hate speech. You see, um, the origins of that video started um, five, six years ago when I developed an appreciation for, for um, <coughs> family history and my own family history. And on that was um, this quote by this Native American chief um, um, I believe his name was Chief Joseph, and he said that a man that does not love his father's grave is worse than a wild animal, and it stuck with me, uh, for a long time. And in my video, I was quite animated about a few, um... I was quite upset and disappointed that a lot of people of white um, or white European descent, as it were, um, do, has no regard for their heritage. And um, I was upset that us people of white descent have no right to express pride in their heritage at the same level as blacks or Asians do. And I was trying to show similarities according to genetics. Um, <clears throat> and... Um, Certain genetics say that um, many groups of people, like from the Middle Age, Middle East, Europe, Russia, and as far as China and Japan, are distinctly related. And I'm just repeating what my professor's book in undergrad college at the University of Maine said. Um, and he said that, uh, j j the P the samurai of Japan are distantly related to people of Europe. I mean, I would uh, honestly expect white supremacist groups to call for my head instead of, uh, but who knows, maybe a white supremacist person actually, um, remarked how hateful that I, my speech is, but I really don't know. I did offer a point of, like, um, a suggestion about how, um, because Europe had, for a time, a lot of technological advantages over others, that and tried to help those less fortunate than others. 
and I was trying to go for something like that, that our ancestors, um, we should not feel sorry for what our ancestors have done, but we should learn, at the same time, learn to improve upon that. Like, and I was trying to go with a, the be the better person, like helping those that are less fortunate than you. Like, I was disproving white supremacists walking around threatening people. I was like, why not instead help those less fortunate than you and show others that um, the white race can be just as good as black people, and we already know, or, or and also to actually, I suppose, <coughs> set an example, like, um, like, um, if what, for example, if white supremacists throw a riot over something, they have no right to criticize black people for throwing a riot just because they are angry. And I was just trying to act as a middleman of all the groups and say that it's okay to be white. I think the real problem was was that I warned um, Various people that were attacking normal white people like me that you are could be driving us into the arms of um, these white supremacist groups. And me, I just felt like it was okay to say it. I mean, in my college courses, people were complaining about this um anti Islamic rhetoric and feared that they will be dr that rhetoric will be driving regular Muslims into the arms of these groups like Al Qaeda and the Islamic State. So I was thinking on those logical lines. And at the same time I admit that I am new to this. And I was trying to do what this quote said, fight ignorance with education. Well, anyway, this is the Crusader Historian. Thank you for your time. See you later. Bye.